at Carolina defense, they are special. And I, and hopefully that the offense will just continue to get better and better and give them some chances to, you know, to to really, really shine like they were able to do on Saturday. Because when the offense was putting points on the board, that defense, man, they were inspired. So it was fun to see. But um, I was thinking today, I said this on the big spur, the, the defense, you know, sometimes you, you have a good defense and you're like, well, how good was that team really offensively? And, you know, you kind of look, I'll tell you this right now, Alabama's one of the best offenses in college football. Yeah, they yeah. have NFL dudes like the D line. Um, you know, you, you saw the old Dominion game, the Kentucky game, and you're like, well, they dominated those two games up front. But you know what happens? And, and you know, I thought against LSU they held their own. I don't. I think LSU is just good, and they LSU obviously has an elite offensive line, um, mm -hmm. with a lot of NFL guys. So does Alabama. But boy, Saturday. My goodness, uh, Carolina. <laughs> uh, and, and Dylan Stewart didn't show up in the sat stat sheet that I saw, but that guy affected the quarterback all day. Yeah. I mean, you sometimes you just don't get home. And Kyle Kennard did, and Kennard is um, on the way to breaking Clowney's record for single season I sacks. Mean, I'm gonna make a big a bold. I'm gonna make a bold statement here, JC. Mm -hmm. I think he's the best defensive end in college football, and I, he's up find there. one that's better. Man, Tell me one that's better. Dude, just as far as play on the field this year, and, you know, shout out to Sterling Lucas in, in recruiting because it, it wasn't like – I mean, Kennard had some offers and, and some places to go from the portal, but it wasn't like uh, Overton uh, from – this is in Alabama now that was at A&M that was a big five-star guy. You know, he had – Carolina was kind of in on him, but I was told, frankly, for real, Kennard's the top guy. And you look at him at Georgia Tech last year, and the production numbers wise was not even close to what it is now. He had some games, but so they literally evaluated him on film and were like, This guy's good. They didn't wasn't stats, it wasn't anything, and he wasn't decorated. And he's come over here and flourished. And it's it's not fake either. It's not like no. they're worried about another guy and letting him loose, or you know, he's going up against bad offensive lines. I mean, no. he's He's destroying uh, people up front. And, you know, you look at the schedule coming up, the, the defensive front for Carolina is going to be a problem for everybody else starting Saturday because Oklahoma really struggles to block. Mm -hmm. um, they're not LSU. They're not Alabama up front. So, you know, you, you, you kind of worry about going on the road again after two losses. Um, where's the team's mindset at? I kind of feel like this is a pretty resilient group full of fighters. Uh, but uh, box to check number one is take your defense on the road. 